Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Daiso Mancha, the demo. Uh, let's just get into it. Who doesn't like dice? Dice have got to be one of my favorite mechanics in any board game. And why not add them to my video games? What a great day. Let's go fishing on the west side of the village. Bam. Ordinary wolf. That doesn't look like an ordinary wolf. Basic tutorial. This card has the mana. You. This is your mana pool. Every turn you get three mana. Mana limit is four. Go over and the first mana gains gained vanishes. Uh, at the end of your turn, at the turns end, all cards are automatically discarded. Try to use strike. So we got strike. Drag it to him. Estimated damage, 3. Ordinary wolf. Bad wolf. Can be a bully sometimes. What an asshole. And then, obviously, we're going to block. I would love the art style of this game already. Uh, enemies next turn. Plans displayed here. Resolve from top to bottom. Okay, so he'll strike and then strike. Plan wisely in response to the enemy's intentions. So. We're going to attack. Lock, lock. We just have a bunch of, bunch of shields in front of us. Three to be precise. Okay, and now we didn't lose any health. So obviously one, two, three. End the turn. And now we can just Finish him off. Fishing well. Fishing wish. Badra, I'll remove the card from the game after use. Come live with me and be my love. And we will... We will some new pleasures brew. Of golden sands and crystal brooks. With silken lines and silver hooks. Here 12, draw 2, fragile. Which means it gets... Um, thrown out. Okay, so... We kind of got to do this... Watch out, Piggy has a special ability, Thick Skin. Thick Skin cuts Piggy's damage by three, so regular strike cards can't harm it. Try to use the more powerful card against it. This card is effective, but requires water mana to use. Comes from any blue card. Of course. Drag a card to the mana pool to exchange it for mana. Yeah, both strike and one-time cro crossbow can be exchanged. So if we drag it here. I believe I need... Okay. Ugh. So we can drag this here. And we can convert it to a normal mana. Get our mana. And then... I'm gonna take some damage here. That's okay. So, remove the card from the battle after cast. So, yeah, this is... Basically, it removes each time you cast it. Sure. Let's take that. Strange girl. I met a girl. Swords and shields are so boring. Try these goodies. Okay. Get Chaos Strike X2 and get Crossroad X2. Dice bonus. Ooh. Okay. Your left. What the hell was all this? Uh, okay. Purple or grey can be used to play this card. If you have purple and grey, grey is saved first. Using coloured mana first. Okay. When rolling dice, roll an extra die and take the highest value. When losing luck, then lose one luck for every six luck. Roll one more extra dice. Okay. Not really a point to doing that, is there? Crossroads. 
Roll a d20. If the result equals to or greater than the check value, resolve its effect. Okay, so we can play this. We get four luck. Then we fish in well. We sacrifice crossroad. We then play crossroad. Roll our dice. Wow. Thanks. Then we do eight damage. Convert this, shoot it. Okay, so Chaos Strike is kind of... Estimated damage 1 to 20. Okay, cool. If we do this, and we do this... Okay, so you need both. It's only if it's a swirling, does it count? Just getting heaps of fishing lines. Wow, we're versing the piggy boss. Powerful leader of the piggy clan. How dare you treat my piggies like that? Thick skin. Reduce damage taken by 99. Okay. Um, that's gotta hurt. No damage. Well, things just got complicated. Why is the piggy so strong? Maybe I have it. You won't be able to handle it like this. Here's something good for you. Oh, new new character. Super strong die cast. You can use dice to change any number you see on the screen. The change is permanent until you die. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, so if we go this, we want to choose this for that. And now he'll only block three damage. Then we want to do this. We want to do this. Do two to ourselves. Roll this down. <laughs> and now he has 202 damage. And roll this down. And now he only has 2 HP. To which we can throw the bomb. And we finally were able to fish. Beginning over the end, I just saw something purple in the distance, and it feels like it is getting closer and closer. It feels wrong. That's not good. Time to leave. Purple mists. Okay. So we got we go forward and then backwards. Uh, the power to change numbers comes with the cost. Purple mists will chase you throughout your journey. Whenever you move forward, it will also chase you a small step. In court by it means danger. If the purple if the mist fully covers the map, you fail instantly. Oh, uh, because I've already done all this. We don't have to worry about it. A fog keeps spreading. In the haze, it seems to... It seems to see things not of this world. The world is broken, hee <laughs> hee. The girl appears again beside me. Why is this happening? Because you used that dice card that changed the numbers in the world. It's quite useful, right? Otherwise, you would have been beaten by the piggy boss. Who are you? I am a god. Only a god can do such incredible things. I came to save you. Uh, if you stay here, you'll be swallowed by the purple strange thing. She says with a smile, even though it's a frightening thing. Escape the world with me. Leave. Yes, let's go with the, the, the one who gave me the dice. What a cool name. Welcome to my home. This is the middle realm. The junction between parallel worlds. The world we just left is no more. I can take you to a countless, almost identical worlds. However, no matter where you go, you'll have the purple mist chasing after you. If you can run all the way to the center of the royal city, I'll send you to a world where you have the time to leisurely fish. Don't forget to bring the dice, or you won't last an hour. Okay, so we can upgrade. 
and use red orbs when selecting the star deck. We don't have anything. We don't have any um, stars. Very nice hand drawn style of card. Select your class. The class and your star deck will be generated based on the mana orbs you've chosen. You will gradually unlock other orbs along the journey. For now, drag and drop water to the center. Bam. So we've got normal, purple, and blue. After deciding your class, you receive some starter relics. Relics are useful. Be sure to check it. Activate relics such as the one dice need a click to trigger the effects. Remember to use them. Okay, so whenever an enemy's health bar is broken, draw two cards, gain two block. Uh, requires charge two. Press to activate the permanently charge the target. Change, permanently change the target's number to dice. When the time passes, uh, charge for this relic. Okay, cool. We got kind of like a D6 from Isaac. Familiar scenery. Let's go a bit further and see. Okay, so. Bam. Let's go here. So, kind of want to block. Or fourth. We want two blocks. Wow, he's just getting more and more. Okay, so. Crossbow loaded. After casting, reduces one reduces one loaded ammo. When this reaches zero, you need to reload the card. Okay. So if we chuck this in here. We didn't even need to get rid of it. Choose between four new cards. Unstable portal, huh? Buckle of Lava. Discover a card from other realms. Sure, why not? Oh, we get both of them. We get an upgrade. What do we want to upgrade? Opening. If cast the first cast, resolve the effect. When rolling dice, roll an extra dice and take the lowest results. Oh, okay. If we use this first, we get bad luck. Miracle, what is that? If the card isn't drawn at this turn's draw phase, the trigger is an effect when casting. Okay. Okay, that, that turns it free. Lock miracle. Sure. Go that. So we could go down if we wanted to. Wolf is going to bite you. If the enemy's health bar is broken, all of the focus attentions will be destroyed. Okay. So if we decide to do. First off, let's attack with this. Wow. Okay, so there's a chance to hit. Wolf may attack during your turn. Oh, we gotta get hit. Ouch. Yeah, we don't want to use the one dice, I don't think. Not yet. Takes a long time. We need blue or Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. He failed the check. We're gonna take three damage. Oh, he's gonna gain we need to destroy him. Are broken. Yes, we can do this because we'll get two luck. 
We won't. Never mind. Nice. Into gold. Choose between four new ca cards. Organ gun. Waste not. Temporarily increase the target number by, or temporarily decrease the target number by. Interesting. Let's get the trick. D4. Okay. Deal 2d4 damage. Focus. Third time steal card. As your draw phase ends, discard one card from your hand. Don't really want to do that. Okay. I think, can we break this? Okay, we lost luck already, which is kind of weird. Wow, five damage, that's so much. Okay, whatever. Target non-card, non-dice number. So what can we do here? Oh, it's freaking out. So, still got 10. Gotta reload so we get the other card back. Chain sword. Okay, drop near. Okay, we we gotta get the chainsaw, yeah. We got two because we broke some health. Well, I mean, deal four damage to the enemy, repeat four times, temporary. Well, who are we got to cut up? This guy's probably got the most. <laughs> Damn. Done. Okay, we'll take a little bit of damage. We're actually taking a lot of damage. I'm not very good at this. Oh. Only exists in this battle, so we might as well use it as much as we want. Gain Phantom, what is that? After casting this card, add a one time copy of it to your hand and reduce the required mana for the copy card by one. Wow, that's really good. That's like an oh shit moment. Little bit of jack of all trades. I want to go up here. Okay. We got unstable portal, mobile bunker, brain gun. When casting, you can discard up to 20 cards for each card discarded. Duplicate this card. Can't do anything. Okay. Lost him a little bit of HP. 
We can actually change, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Seven? That's that's heaps. Yeah, I'm gonna reload. Because we wanna get it in. And then I'm gonna chainsaw this guy. And I'm gonna take six damage. Saber portal, I like it. A nine block. I don't want like it just a cheap thing. Just a cheap card. Can I rest? Heal HP, yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, a new relic, finally. Pick it up. Uh, upgrade two strikes slash block cards randomly. Okay, that's not too bad. My action phase ends, gain four block. Can only be triggered three times per battle. So this is pretty good. So what is this? A D12? Gotta get the pot. Shoot. Well, only shoot if it hits you. Gunner Goblin. Not only the best goblin bodybuilder, but also the dullest sharpshooter. Wow. Okay, so he needs a check of the roll plus the accuracy must reach 20 to hit. Okay, so he's not going to hit me at the moment. What's something they can really... Let's get the Bren gun. Okay, very nice. Okay, didn't hit. Okay. You do this. Just chill, I guess. Ooh, nearly. So we keep our block, but it halves each time. Okay, that's cool. Um, unlucky, dude. Don't hit me. Explode. At least it won't miss now. Oh shit. Two twelve sided? That's a lot of money. Is there any way to stop that? We can just keep shooting him. I don't know if I took any damage. He definitely did. Put that in, get the violent smoke. In turn. He's missed again. We've missed gain seven accuracy, okay, so hmm, focus. If we can deal twenty-five damage, we can do seven plus seven, fourteen, twenty-four. We might be able to Whoop. Yes. So now he's only gonna shoot. He'll probably hit me. Um, maybe. He did. <laughs> he got me. Round the chest. Ah! Gain tough. Well, we're not going to allow you to gain tough. 
because you've only got three HP left. Uh, I'm sorry. But <laughs> we don't have any... Okay, we don't have any... Attack cards. So... Okay, so... Still gotta do three. Choose between three new relics. When the HP starts, heal two. Probably pretty good. That starts getting three lucid. Probably gotta take that. Three new courage. If left in hand when turns end, apply four weak to random enemy. Virtue. When converted to mana, adds extra mana to the card's color and draw a card. Then the card is exerted. Okay. Gain two block. That's pretty good. Four damage. That's pretty good as well. Ooh. More. More mana supplies. Okay, if we leave that, it's going to be fine. Ten block. That got a deal. Okay. What we can do is we can do this. That did nothing. <laughs> but let's hope it hits this guy. It did. Nice. Okay, he just stole something of mine. Don't like that. Um, unstable portal, huh? Get one of those. The Bren gun's pretty good. Bird bag. Eel server. I really like that. Let's let's go with that. Can't get it yet, but we will. Seven and three. Not bad. Add mana, increase mana capacity by two, draw cards. Ouch. Still in my stuff. One. Two. Three. And the four hits this one and we balance it out. Hey, where is that bird one? My deck? Oh, he stole it. Reload that. Put that down. Wow, 11. When converted mana, adds extra mana to this card's color, drawing a card. We've got 20. It's not going to do 20 with 2. Max he can do is 8. Do we want any more? Crossbow? It's pretty good. Okay, healing. Okay, we do we have a we can. Missed. Okay, that sucks. We're not gonna uh, punch our defenses yet, but we need to get this down. Let's, let's, let's get this. Nice. 
Nice. And the rock triggered as well. We should use that before. But whatever. Okay, so that actually misses. Okay, he's nearly dead. We could just kill him off right now. Save ourselves six damage. Nice. Gone to three. Reload our crossbow, I guess. End the turn. This is a lot. But I guess we can just try. Let's hit him with this. Yes. He didn't dodge. Smoke slow storm. Modified cards, it's kind of cool. Let's go here. Heal. Run. What are you? What are you? Heal 5 damage, gain 8 block. Okay. Wow, okay. How about you gain 7 block instead? Fly burn, huh? Energy modify. When casting, select a card in your hand to add a temporary effect to it. Wait, hang on. First, we will do this. Unstable portal. Known yeah. Sure. Then we will put that on this. Then we will hit this guy. It comes back. Wow. Okay. Best thing to do is get that. Replace the big. If we replace the big things, um, it will get way, way quicker. Okay, so, end damage to all, focus. Pop. Um, nine damage, huh? I think we just tank it. This is going to be estimated 5. We are burning though. Okay. Throw him on here again. Boom. He's dead. I don't really want the extra cards. They seem to be... Um, just gumming up my deck. card I played. of stuff there.
try and kill this dog as fast as I can, and then we'll focus on this guy. Modify. Yeah, sure, let's get a modify. Modify this. That means we get rid of this. Summon this. Sure, let's go for this one. Get one. Put nine of those into our thing. One money, I guess? That doesn't seem pretty good. <laughs> okay, we're, we're taking so much damage. Um... So that's just money. I think we... I think we done goofed here. can't really do anything with them. Okay, we needed sacrifice crossroads so we can get 18 in whatever that is. Then we need to reload. Let's hope for this. Okay, we live. We do the same kind of crap because we don't have this okay focus he's applying 10 burn is there a way to nope. for a multicolor card when converted to mana it will randomly give you a corresponding card okay that's not what we wanted I'll play this And that's it. That's all we wrote. Ouch. Can we have a look at our... Okay, we've got some upgrades. So that was uh, Dysomancer. Actually a really interesting take on the card game mechanic. Like Slay the Spire, sure, but now you can change every number that you see using the dice mechanic. That's really cool. I like that. We've got 13 stars. You can upgrade your dice in the shop. Upgrade dice will be bigger. Okay, that's cool. You can use dice in the loot screen. Interesting. New blue cards. Didn't really like blue, to be honest. You can use red orb when selecting a start. Yeah, well, that's what we want. A green orb is not available in the demo. But we have the gray orb as well. You can and must use a void orb when selecting the star deck. Two red cards. Then how much do we have? Sure. So when we prepare, we now have the red orb. So we have to use the void orb. <clears throat> it seems like we've got a green card and so we can make well, what do we got six here we've got five so we can make a few so this is berserker then we've got oh that this orb has stuck with the charm you must carry this orb I, okay i'm guessing that's for like you can either play as the Sage, or you can play as Berserker. And here we get the Berserker charm. An enemy's health bar is broken, add fire. Or add red mana. Increase mana capacity by one, can only be triggered three times per battle. That's really good. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Dysomancer, the demo.